Typical of the speed with which great American industrial plants have been converted to war is this arms factory somewhere in Midwestern United States. A year ago, these girls made automobile tires. Today, they inspect some of the 1,500 precision parts that go into the making of Beaufort's anti-aircraft guns. From sub-assembly lines, workmen once skilled in production for peace are now breaking records manufacturing weapons for war. U.S. improvements in construction have reduced costs 25%. Welded parts have taken the place of rivets. The time to produce each unit has been cut by nearly a third. Flexible to handle, the 40 millimeter mobile Bofors can fire from any angle, from vertical to horizontal. Its barrel moves fast enough to follow a plane diving 500 miles an hour. Leaving the factory for shipment to United Nations battlefronts halfway around the world. The completed gun, credited with being the most effective weapon in the defense of London during the 1940 Battle of Britain, is now rolling from U.S. assembly lines at the rate of thousands every month. In the field, they're ready for action in less than a minute. of the horrors of war finds China unconquered. Five years of murder and pillage by a ruthless nation bent on enslaving or exterminating a helpless people. Five million innocent civilian victims have perished. And yet, China fights on, its spirit undaunted. From battered Chongqing, blasted and rebuilt a dozen times, the Chinese Republic carries on the fight. Here, Madame Chiang Kai-shek, American-educated wife of China's leader, ministers to her people, inspiring them to even greater effort with her own unfailing courage. Mobilizing the young womanhood of the nation in unprecedented numbers, Madame Chiang symbolizes the spirit of the new China. Today, bombed-out war industries take to the field, and rallying behind Chiang Kai-shek, an army of 26 million men. Here is China's answer to the invader.